welcome back to another vlog. My name is Nicholas and we are still in Nairobi, Kenya. We are going to, to look at one of their local foods. Are there local foods? Yeah, the local foods. Yeah, we are in one Authentic. of the markets. We are one of the markets and let my brother take over. Yeah, mm. this is the food tourist. Mm. We are in Nairobi mm. city. Mm. This market you're seeing here is called Muduro Market. Mm. Mudu yeah, Mudura. This is where people have <laughs> the common mm. civilian people food, the average mm. foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today here we're mm. going to see something called Mokimo. Mm. That is an authentic uh, Kenyan food. Mokimo mm. is like a kikuyu, mm. a kikuyu, mm. a kikuyu word, one mm -hmm. of the local dialects here. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to see chapati, mm. we're going to see beans, mm -hmm. we're going to see uh, meat, meat. Uh, cow peas, mm. potatoes, everything how they're going to be prepared. Yeah, we have beets. we have plenty, we have plenty, plenty to look at. Plenty, yes. mm -hmm. uh, beets by beast. Mm. So enjoy, welcome mm -hmm. to this country. Thank you. Feel free, <laughs> let's enjoy our mm. food and our diversity. So in this video, we're going to go so deep into details. We share the taste, we share the ingredients. So let's go into the video. Mm. Yeah. My We are going to test and review the food for you guys. Yeah, Nico, which you one know, should we start with? You know, I'm always, I'm always waiting for the last part where you have to end. Yeah. Uh, but we are going to share the prices of these foods. We are also going to go through deep into the preparation because this guy has more about this food. So we, yeah. we want we want people who are watching mm -hmm. uh, to know the recipes they use. Mm -hmm. We also want to know how they taste. Uh -huh. mm? yeah. Are they sweet? Are they sour? Are uh -huh. they acidic? But I know beans are acidic. <laughs> ah, but they still don't taste good. Yeah. Uh, so these are the foods we are going to have here. Uh -huh. hope you, and so, we also want to make this video short. Short. Yeah, so that yeah. everyone can have enough time to watch to it. watch and we can move on to mm. other yeah. videos, yes. right? Mm. So here, I told mm. you about the Mokimo in the mm. intro. Mm -hmm. This is Mokimo. Mokimo is a Kikuyu local dialect name. Mm -hmm. This is Mokimo. It's made from, uh, it's made from potatoes. Potatoes and... Uh, and uh, vegetables called uh, mofake mm -hmm. and uh, maize. Yeah. Right corn. You know, maize was cooked inside. Yeah. Uh, and I, I thought they were removing something which, which was not supposed to be there. In a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. That, was, and then ah, when, they, when, they, when they opened it, they, there was maize inside. Yeah. So, so they mashed it so well. Uh -huh. So it looks like this actually. Yeah. Hope you can see. After mashing it, mm. it, it takes this green color. Mm. Yeah. So would you want to test it? Yes, really of course, quick, of course. We should, we, we should start with slow. this. Yeah. Okay. Take okay, this is the first time I'm going to use a spoon but because I did not wash my hands. <laughs> it's too damn so open. So let us dive into that dish. Okay. Mm. You're my host. I mm. already know how they taste. So you're going to tell us how they taste today. How's it? I think I missed this when I was a baby. Oh, <laughs> it has a, yeah. yeah, it is good. Mm -hmm. uh, it has that. Let me, let me first have another test. Mm -hmm. Mm, Mkujet Kule, Mkujet Kule. This is right. <laughs> yeah, that's mm -hmm. really. This is that unending, unending, ending sweet taste mm -hmm. of, of the potatoes. Okay. And then the greens tend to disappear a bit, but you, mm -hmm. uh, as you swallow the, the, the food, mm -hmm. you can hear the, the, the vegetables. Yeah, mm. the vegetables plus the mashed potatoes. You don't hear, but you can taste too. <laughs> Yeah, plus the maize. Mm. They just burst in your mouth and there's just that sink. They mm. just sink really well. Mm -hmm. it, you have that burst of saltiness plus the nice tasty potato feel in your mouth mm. and it's soft it's really soft and melts in your mouth mm -hmm. as it goes down your throat amazing yeah you can you can taste it you can feel it when it is going down yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> I think I can, I can have this the whole day. Mm. And I also recommend this whenever, if you come to Nairobi, mm -hmm. uh, this is called Mokimo. Mokimo. You need to look for Mokimo. It's going to be one of the best foods you're going to find in Kenya. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. hey, I need to taste more. Don't go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to others. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, that, this, this is called Ugali. Mm. Ugali is made from uh, maize, maize meal. Oh, some of you guys might know maize as corn, mm. flour, okay? Mm -hmm. You put uh, hot water, then you pour in the flour, and then you stir until it becomes like a solid uh, paste. Normally, we take ugali, you call it in Uganda as posho. Yeah, kawunga. Kawunga or posho. Posho, posho is English, yeah. English we, name. We take it with uh, vegetables or beef mm -hmm. and stew. 
You know the difference is uh, with our posho, uh -huh. uh, ours is white. Uh -huh. Mostly what we eat is so white. You, you remember yeah. we tested the foods. How was it? How was the Ugandan posho? It was uh, it was softer than this one, mm -hmm. but this one is just that they don't remove the corn. Uh, is it called cuticle? So they just mm. uh, mill the whole grain of the maize, mm -hmm. and then you have. That's why you're seeing it's not that white, and it has yeah, some yeah, spots yeah. of brown, yellow. Mm. That here yeah. they don't put put food to waste. Uh -huh. Everything yeah. is everything, uh, crushed everything together, is and then crushed together, and we mm. eat it. Mm. Yeah. So I'll leave you to taste it. <laughs> yeah. This is the fork. Oh, what you have... do is that you take it. No, I know you're not used to eating with man, the fork. Man, man. No, you take you take that slice. Then you dip it into the stew. I feel like I'm forced to use a no, fork. No, 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 dip it into the stew. <laughs> yeah, then take it. How is it? Mmm. Uh-huh. They missed to put chili. Chili. I'm, I'm like, I'm feeling that, that bit of chili uh -huh. into this, but it is not there. It's, it's not that much. Mm. You know, in Kenya, we don't, uh, we like our foods basic. We don't mm -hmm. like spices and such. We eat our food simple Like and basic. us in Ugandan. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. But, but, okay, I love, I love the taste of this. Uh -huh. mm. The ugali. How is ugali, by the way? Actually, it has that porridge taste. The, the, you know, the, the baby porridge. Rough, it's a little bit rough, mm, the roughage mm, because mm. they didn't remove the skin, the cuticle. Yes, right. But it is good. It is good. But I, I think Ugandan, Ugandan posho is still the best. Ah. What do you think? No, no, no. It has to be open. Well, it, it really depends. It comes down to preference mm -hmm. because when you eat this whole grain mm -hmm. ugali, mm -hmm. you're going to have something like constipation or such because it is rich so in roughage. So you mean ours causes constipation? No, sometimes it could cause constipation. No because way. It no way. Have <laughs> Let me test it. Mm. Let me test this. Piece. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. But I like mm -hmm. it. I like it. Uh, mm. Mm. So today I'm having the best experience. Of Kenya, right? Mm -hmm. And you see this beef? Can you taste the beef? It's made from a lot. And also lot of, uh, what I discovered that you Kenya, mm -hmm. their beef they cut into two, two small pieces. Small pieces. Why is it like that? Yeah, you know Kenyans, uh, there's no much food like in Uganda, so we we keep small shares for everyone. So they cut it in small small pieces so that you can think mm. you have a lot of meat because you have a lot of pieces. Rather what? than have two pieces that are so big, you'll, you'll feel like no, I'm not having food. I'm not mm. having a lot of food. Okay, now, this it. beef mm. has been made from lots and lots of uh, tomatoes and capsicum, mm. and you can feel the rich. Mm, also the coriander. You can feel the rich taste of the coriander, mm. uh, the capsicum, the acidity of the tomatoes, and the stew. It's just amazing. And when you take it with the ugali, mm. oh my god, it just it just sinks really well in your mouth, right? I'm loving this. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to eat that but, later. But chili is missing out. I but don't know why. You, you know, the, most, uh, the first foods I ate, uh -huh. they were uh, full of chili. So now I'm missing it. Oh my God! Mm. I always say, people, if you're a chili lover, mm -hmm. you're going to you're going to enjoy uh, Nairobi foods. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I. You feel the capsicum? The capsicum mm. is so good. Mm. Ah. Let me try the the what? These are the, the cabbage. The cabbages. Mm. Mm. I'm saying they're fresh. <laughs> I'm saying that Kenyan food is still are not fresh. Close, no, 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 no. It is fresh. The south, the boy, it the is the fresh, spike. but mm -hmm. imagine if you were in Uganda right now, uh -huh. this, this, this whole table uh -huh. would be full of foods, different foods. Ah, exactly. You remember the last time you came there, like mm. the whole mm. table, like, yeah, actually, mm. except you, in Uganda there's a lot of varieties and a lot of food. Mm. Yeah. Do you miss Mnanasi? Ah, oh, Mnanasi, the juice, <laughs> yes. the juice in polythene. Oh my god, it was amazing. I'm missing I want it, to go I'm back missing to it right now. You know more about these foods. What I want yeah. is you to explain. How how these uh, cow peas are cooked? What are the recipes? Okay. Mm. You see, these these are the beans. Mm. What they do is just simple here. Everything mm. is simple in Africa, Kenya. Mm. They just uh, fry uh, onions mm -hmm. plus the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then they, they put uh, the capsicum. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have garlic, well and good. Mm -hmm. Then after frying it, already before doing that, you had boiled the you had boiled the the beans so the cowpeas then you add the boiled cowpeas into the fried uh, mixture of tomatoes mm. and uh, onions and then you fry it a little bit mm. then you pour water and let it boil 
You see? Okay. Then, hmm. this in Kenya we like taking beans and the cowpeas with chapatis. This are now chapatis. Ooh. Nico, is your hands clean? Oh my god, we didn't wash our hands. <laughs> but these are chapatis. You're going to just show you around how they're being made. <laughs> yeah, it's made from dough, hmm. uh, wheat flour. So that is how they do it. If you've not washed your hands and you're busy in Kenya, they just do that, that. They just prick uh, the chapati with uh, the fork and then it's ready to eat. Ah, good. Good. Ah, you see, you see how they do it? So, does it look fancy? <laughs> so whoever watching this video, feel free to come be part of this video. Subscribe if this is your first time to be here with us. You can come and be part of this. Spiritually, all through the screens. I know you cannot be here at this time, but uh -huh. let us see this on your behalf. Yeah. <laughs> so what you do mm. is like you bite the chapati this way. Uh -huh. I am leaving this solely to you. I want you to explain it. Take your time and explain how you feel, okay? <laughs> you bite the chapati. We start with the, we with start the, with the beans, mm -hmm. okay? You take the chapati this way. Wait, hey, I thought you dip it into the, mm -hmm. the chapati. You know in Kampala we have to command where they slice the, the, the chapati and mix it with the beans. No, that is when they've cut it and put it uh, mm -hmm. in the beans. But here when they mm -hmm. just prick the chapati this way, mm -hmm. you just have to use it that way, then you eat the beans. Mm -hmm. of Africa. What the have beans, discovered about you yeah. about our Kenyan Nairobi chapatis? They are soft and it's like their ingredients in, that ingredient we are missing back yeah. home. Mm -hmm. What do they use? They don't use cooking oil. They no. use mm -hmm. what what do they use? I saw the, the the yellow the yellow was it blue band? No. Mm. Here what they do is this. Mm. The the dough, everything comes down to the dough. Mm -hmm. You see the dough is made and before the water that mm. is used to make the dough, mm. they balance the ratio of salt mm -hmm. and sugar, okay? Mm. And then some people can put margarine into it, mm -hmm. then they make the dough, and while they're frying the chapati, mm. they put... Mm. Hey, 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 sauti, sauti. While they fry the chapati, mm. uh, you put... The, the yellow thing that you saw is actually solid uh, fat, we call it so fat. fat. Mm -hmm. You know we don't use the, sometimes we don't use the oil. Mm -hmm. You see, also when it gets food gets cold, see mm. this is fat. It starts mm. to solidify. Mm. Yeah? That's why you get like the chapati soft and such. But everything comes down to how you make the dough. How you make the dough will determine how soft your chapati is going to be. Mm. Yeah? It's a skill. <laughs> Maybe you guys need to come to Kenya and learn it. But also we make soft chapatis. Yeah? Mm. No, I didn't I didn't yeah, there was some soft chapati. You mean you do not eat uh, Rolex? No, I ate Rolex mm -hmm. with, uh, with Was the chapati is hard? Uh, no, the chapatis were exquisite. <laughs> exquisite. <laughs> now, the beans have the same things, the same thing with the beef. Mm. We have uh, tomatoes, onions, and then we have that uh, taste of okay. capsicum and What I think, what is uh, uh -huh. disturbing my taste is, I think they, they add beef meat into the beans. Most stew. sometimes, the, the yes, stew. yes. Yeah, yeah. But this one, this one, this one does not have the stew. Mm -mm. It's purely beans. Purely beans. Purely beans. <laughs> then we have the rich beany taste, okay? <laughs> the rich beany taste, the one that is making it red. <laughs> See, look at it. Amazing. And then we go to... What I can tell you is, uh, uh -huh. get time, come to Nairobi, uh -huh. and find any street food they have. Stop that theory where, where you say, Kenyans don't have uh, Kenyans and Tanzania don't they don't have food. They don't have food. Okay, they have lace, uh -huh. but they have foods. Mm? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I personally thought Kenya they don't have foods and you, you eat see? dry foods. Actually, this is the first food, uh -huh. the first uh, table I'm having where uh -huh. there is sauce. They, they, oh, okay, okay. Mm. okay. <laughs> people Amazing. can watch this. Okay, mm. we have the last one. Mm -hmm. Which one is that? The last one before we eat. Let's show these guys this food before they get cold and we eat them. Okay. We, uh, okay. Uh, mm. this one. I've been uh, enjoying we've, we've, it. We've, we've, we all have been enjoying it. Now, the, we do have these things. These are called cowpeas. Yeah, cowpeas. Here we call them minji. Minji. We call them minji minji. We call it kawo. Kawo. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Kawo. Let me test it for you, for you guys. <laughs> mm. And you see, one thing I noticed about Kenyans mm. is that they like putting a lot of tomatoes in their food. And also, know, and, and the green, this green stuff called uh, the capsicum. Mm -hmm. You know, when you put a lot of tomatoes into mm -hmm. the sauce, mm -hmm. it, 
it covers the taste. Yeah, I, and it I, makes the, the, the sauce sweeter. It which makes is, it sweeter? Yes, which it, is not no, good. No, not sweeter. It makes it a little bit as it uh, brings acidity. the acidity. A mm. The tomatoes are acidic, mm. so you can feel that rich acidity of the tomatoes. And mm. sometimes it covers, uh, it overshines yeah. the taste of the Yeah, the same, the the same as you use green, I don't know if you use, you, you call it green pepper, uh -huh. but if you use more, more, more of it into the food, uh -huh. it covers the, the taste of others. Of the food? Yes. Okay, okay. Mm. So guys, th that is it, right? You've tested the food. Mm. Maybe you, you liked Mokimo so much. Maybe yes, yes, I'm, I'm a lot of it. I'm coming from more for, for that. Mokimo. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mokimo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, if you're watching this video, if you're watching it from Eating the African Way, go to the Food Tourist mm. and subscribe, okay? Oh, sorry. The link is going to be in the description okay, box. Going to put it there? Yes. Okay. Mm. So Amazing. if you're watching this on Food Tourist, mm -hmm. check in the description box of this video. Uh -huh. My link is going to be the Eating the African, African Way. way. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm enjoying, bro. I'm yeah. enjoying. I think I think we should finish it and go and go look for yeah, some other foods. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, this. Uh, okay. We need to be. We need to tell them this was just uh, an opener for today. An opener today. Yeah, we still have more to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we are going to finish this and see what we can do okay. in other places. Okay. Hmm. So we had. Uh, we are having our makeshift guys who are helping us film. Uh, hmm. You can come eat. Kujen mkule. Daniel, kona taka food. Kuna ole mnyama metu sumbu asal. Yeah, kuja kula. Nico, how are you? Yeah, <laughs> Takula. No, it's okay, yeah. they can eat. Because my... You can eat from here, don't, yeah, don't go away. Take it. Just no. eat it from here. Eat from here. Hi, kulia tu hapo. Isi bebe. Isi bebe. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being part of eating the Afghan way. Thank you so much for being part of the food tourist. Uh, if this is your first time to be here with us, sorry about that. Subscribe, be part of this channel, invite other people, invite those family members, invite your friends, be part of our our story. Uh -huh. But catch up in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye from Nicholas. And for me, it's amazing hosting you, Nicholas. Uh, feel free, feel at home. Uh, I hope uh, this opener has really made you enjoy it. Yes, people. yes. Yeah, food tourists, <laughs> signing off. Bye. <laughs>